So here I'm preparing one of my photoreforming samples. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this vial. I'm going to add my photocatalyst, which is the stuff that actually breaks down the plastic. I'm then going to add my plastic. So this is just little pieces of a plastic water bottle that I cut up. And then I just add some water. And that's about it. So right now I am just going to weigh my photocatalyst. Um, a scale is definitely one of the most common equipments you'll see in any sort of lab. Always useful. So now I'm just adding this to the vial I use um, to stick it in the sunlight. And here's our plastic water bottle. And now we just need to put everything in the water. And then the final component I'm adding is actually a basic solution. So this is sodium hydroxide. And the only reason we need that is to help break down the plastic in the first place. So if we just stick plastic in water, it's going to take about you know, 500 years to break down. This kind of helps jumpstart the process and helps the catalyst break it down and release the hydrogen. So now I'm just adding a stir bar so we can stir while we run our reaction. and sealing the vial. So there's our sample. Um, we'll just stick it under sunlight to start producing hydrogen. OK, so what we're going to be doing here is actually putting our samples in the sunlight. So we can't just stick them outdoors because we live in England and there is no sunshine. <laughs> so we use something called a solar simulator, which basically uses the exact same spectrum as you'd get outside it's just always there, it's always consistent. So I'm just going to put a few different samples in here. And what will happen is as, our, as the sunlight shines upon our photocatalyst, it'll start breaking down both the plastic and the water in those samples. And as it does so, it'll release hydrogen that we can then collect. Of course, since we're scientists, we need exact measurements. So we can't just say there's hydrogen in this vial. We need to measure exactly how much there is. So to do that, um, I use this fancy machine over here. I take some of my sample, and I just inject it straight into here. Um, and what it will do is after a few minutes, it tells us exactly how much hydrogen is in this vial. When I shake this, you should be able to see tiny bubbles going in the vial. Um, and that's actually the hydrogen bubbles that you can see there.